In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front lower ball joints on this Volkswagen Tiguan. You're going to find these located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. In the back, behind this cover, just twist to the left, pop that out. You can see where this is held down. We're just going to pop this holder off, pull the jack out. There's a utility bag right here. And open up the utility bag. And you want to find this pick. We're going to use that. Now take the hook tool that you got out of the back. And we're going to take these caps off. Pull those off. Using a 17 millimeter socket, we're gonna take these lug bolts off. Before I take the last one off, I'm just gonna hold the wheel, prevent it from falling. And then grab the wheel, slide it off. We're gonna loosen up this nut. I'm just gonna use a little rust penetrant just to make it a little easier. 18 millimeter wrench. And loosen up the nut. And we're just gonna get to the point where we're almost hitting the axle. Yeah. Take these nuts off. I'm just going to use a little rust penetrant because it's a little bit rusty. Just a little. And use a 16 millimeter socket. Take these nuts off. All right, that's good. And just grab the control arm. I'm going to separate that. Push that out of the way a little bit. Using a pickle fork, I'm gonna separate the ball joint from the knuckle. Make sure it's not hitting anything. That looks good. There we go. And take the nut off. And you can see the stud of the ball joint is spinning. I'm gonna use some locking pliers on the stud down and it's still spinning. In the event that you're able to get that nut off with no problem, you should be good to go on to the next step. Ours is stuck on there pretty good. So we're going to take the axle nut off so that we can get in there with a wrench just to um, be able to get the stud to stop spinning. Now I'll take the axle bolt out. I'm going to use a 24 millimeter 12 point socket. Take this bolt out. Pull the axle out. Just set that aside. We can access the top of the nut and the stud. We're going to use an 18 millimeter wrench on the nut. And then for the stud, we're going to use a T30 socket, a Torx. And we want to loosen this up. That's not allowing me to do it. Now I'm just going to put the studs back in the lower control arm because I want this to stabilize a little bit. And I'm just going to use a pole jack underneath. Put a little bit of pressure. I'm going to use an 18 millimeter socket. Get on there. And we got that loose. Take that nut off. Lower the pole jack. Pull this down. You can use the pickle fork if you need to or just tap it out. You can see on the new one, there is a hex key that you can use to hold the stud from spinning. Just 
slide this in place. Get the nut started. And to make it easier, we'll get these studs lined up. Just with the pole jack, raise this up. Snug this down. I'm going to torque this nut to 44 foot pounds. That's good. Now we're going to lower the pole jack. We want to get the axle back in, so we're just going to drop the control arm down. Just twist it back and forth until the splines line up right. Now get the studs for the ball joint lined up with the control arm again. There we go. Put the nuts on. Tighten these down. Now we'll torque these nuts to 73 foot pounds. Put the bolt in, get that started, and we'll snug this down. We're going to take two of the lug bolts, get those started. Take a pry bar. This is just going to prevent the hub from spinning. I'm going to torque the nut to 147 foot pounds. And before we go any further, I'm just going to spin this 180 degrees or 360 degrees. And we'll go again. Just make sure it's torqued. And then you want to go an additional 90 degrees. That's good. And take the bolts out. Now install the wheel. Get that lined up. Get the lug bolt started. Snug those down. Now we're going to torque the lug bolts to 89 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Now we can put the caps on. And just push those on. Now take the pick tool, put that back in the utility bag. We'll wrap this up. And just tie it up. Place that back inside here. 
and take the jack, get that lined up. This little tie down, Just pull that through, take the door, slide the two little tabs in the base, and then twist it closed. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.